Hi, you YouTubers. This is Superman G. Coming back at you one more again. In this video, I am going to talk about ripping your CDs using the media player VLC. Now, Windows Media Player does have ripping capability, but some people may not like that particular program. So, VLC is an open source media player and it allows you to also view DVDs and I think in some cases the uh, Blu-rays but um, I'm not 100% sure on that uh, but I know that it does allow you to rip audio CDs and some people may still have CDs some people may not but if you still have audio CDs and you would like to learn how to rip those CDs using VLC media player I'm gonna show you how to do that so the first thing you wanna do is uh, open up your web browser whether it's Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge and you wanna go to this website videoland.org and it's a free program and you're gonna come here to where it says download VLC media player you also have some options here Windows Windows 64 Windows Phone Mac OS Linux Android iOS and other systems so it has a wide variety of platforms that it can download to now I've already downloaded this and installed it so I can skip with this but the download is pretty much simplistic as to anything that you've downloaded from the internet once you've downloaded and installed it you can uh, open it up and then you're going to take your audio CD and you're going to put it into your optical drive. You can just stop the playback and leave this audio CD inside of the drive. Uh, when you do that, you're going to come over to media. You're going to click on that and you're going to come down to where it says convert save. And you're going to click on that and it's going to bring over the open media. Uh, option file and uh, since it's on a CD you're gonna go over to disk and this is your disk selection DVD which they have DVD Blu-ray audio CD SVCD v VCD now this isn't a DVD so you want to make sure you select audio CD and from here this is the device that it's coming from which is my D drive which is my optical drive that I have it's just, if it's you have another optical drive it's like if you have two or multiple optical drives you can select which optical drive that you want to rip the CD from uh, from there uh, you select which track you want to rip from so it's like I want to rip it from track 6 and then you want to come over here and click show more options put a check mark in that you'll see this come down and from here it'll give you other options cash in start time stop time you can leave all this stuff the same you don't have to do it make any changes there you don't have to worry about clicking on play another media synchronously which you can do so I guess you can do what's called dubbing or mixing um, you don't have to worry about MRL leave that the same edit option leave that the same and you're gonna come over here and you're gonna click convert save and it's going to bring you over to the convert page and here you're going to click on the down arrow this gives you the option on what the output is whether it's a video for YouTube, high definition, standard definition so it does videos as well but we want to go to the audio portion of this so the audio portion gives us Vorbis OGG audio mp3 audio flag audio CD now this is your output so if you want to rip it it's gonna be in mp3 format and that's what you want it so you're gonna select audio mp3 and from there this goes in the settings and it's set to audio you can come over to audio codec and this audio you have um, you can keep the original audio track which I don't suggest you do uh, I've tried it and it came out very it was it was very tainted it, it was it was just messed up 
so the codec is mp3 now as far as the bit rate you can change the bit rate um, 128 kilobytes is the or kilobits I'm sorry kilobits a second is a standard CD rate but if you want to up you can go to 320 and that'll make it sound even better it'll be a lot more clear your your um, your 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 instrumentals the voice everything gets more amplified uh, you can leave it at the two channels the sample rate I would change that to if it's on 8000 I would change it to 44100 you can go up to 48000 if you want um, 44100 is where I keep it at but you can take it up higher or lower if you want it's up to you whatever your listening preference is and um, once you do that you click save and then you want to select where the destination of the file is going to be ripped to so you want to click on the browse button and in this case I'm going to choose music you can give it a name um, say like I want to name it I'll just name it Buffalo Dance Okay. once you give it a name you click save and now you can see that it's going which destination file is going and this is going to be the title of it once you're done with all your settings you click start and from here you can see this is the progress bar you're not going to hear any audio from it because it's just basically ripping this, the, uh, the track off the CD now I know Windows Media Player will allow you to listen to the track as it's ripping it but VLC doesn't give you that option and as you can see it is now completed from there you can minimize the screen and then you can pull up your file where you saved it in this case we're going to bring over the file explorer and we're going to go to music and there it is it's right here and all you have to do is click play and you should hear it now that's all I'm gonna do because I don't want to get any copyrights against me but as you can see it worked and that's all to it and from there if you have Bluetooth capability on your computer you can Bluetooth it over to your phone where you can listen to it in case your car does not have a, a CD player but it does have Bluetooth capability or audio jack capability and that's pretty much how you can rip music from a CD whether it's one or two tracks or whether it's the entire album so I hope this helps you guys out you all take care be safe peace out